Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to see if I can step into my character's shoes. So this challenge, I don't know if it's been done before, but I'm going to try it anyway and see if somebody wants to join me. If you want to join me and see if you can step into your character's shoes, so to say, uh, please do. I would love to see what you come up with. So. The main point of this challenge is to kind of separate yourself and your personal style from a character that you've created. Uh, something that I tend to do and a lot of people tend to do is to put too much of themselves into the character because that's the easiest, that's the easiest to reference, that's the closest to home, heart, uh, and it's quite hard to try and give you character different traits that does not at all corresponds with your own. Uh, and any character have their own life story and what they've gone through so they're gonna have different preferences and different special items that they love so this challenge is kind of trying to isolate that part of the character design and ignoring more of the facial features and how tall are they and the hair color and all that so we're only gonna focus on the details and their backstory so this is Nettle. I've drawn her quite a few times on my channel and she seems to change every time I draw her so don't be alarmed that she looks different in some of these drawings. I've had her for quite some time now, maybe three years, and she belongs to my story Nettle and the Hush Hush where she is the main character. You might also recognize her young version from the comic that I never actually managed to finish but Nettle and the Hush Hush is supposed to be a comic but it's such a big project that I can't start it yet. So for this challenge to work, you kind of have to start somewhere, you need to know the character a little bit. So I was going through Pinterest trying to find things that I knew Nettle would like and try finding some new things that I maybe didn't think about before. And I come up with quite a few items that I think she could truly like and maybe I would never wear. So while going through all those references, my brain was working non-stop trying to think thoroughly through like what does she like what has she been through what what would she do and that's like the big part of character design is trying to really think if i was in this situation how would i react what could the negative consequences be and what could the positive consequences be so when i get to this point where i'm sketching i already kind of know what i'm doing uh, but it's it's during that phase where i'm trying to find all the references that I really think through what could these things mean. So this challenge is kind of meant for you to find all the references and draw from them. So don't be afraid to really just look at the image that you picked out and draw that item. I changed a few things and I roughed out some other things and I came up with some things. So they're not 100% like the reference, but they're close enough to say they are referenced. But that's kind of the good thing about this challenge as well, is that you will practice drawing things instead of people. And as you guys know, I love details. So this was quite fun, but there's a lot of things to draw. So first things that went through my head when I was looking at the references was of course what would this character wear? What would Nettle wear day to day? Uh, what would she feel comfortable wearing? And it's really complicated trying to separate this from what you would wear because you have preferences for clothes and style and colors and I was trying to really think I might not wear this ever, but it looks nice and that's where I'm gonna pick it. Uh, so that's, you really just have to separate yourself a little bit from it, but still have to think that it looks nice. I didn't really want Nettle to be fashion like forward, she wouldn't think about it that much, but I wanted it to be in comfortable clothes that she liked. And they were baggy and light colored and the jacket is very much something I would wear but it's maybe a bit too baggy but I want her to kind of be able to hide in her clothes. Her personality is really shy and anxious. Um, she's been growing up as this girl who thinks she has a mental illness who sees creatures and monsters everywhere and she's constantly scared and she's been in and out of therapy and they never seem to believe her and that kind of leaves a scar on the young person so I really wanted her to really hide and I might have to show that more in her how I draw her later as well 
um, make her hide her face a bit more and stuff like that. So what that led me to, the, the shyness of hiding her face was, well, maybe she should wear glasses. This is something I have never actually put a character of mine in, um, the situation when they have to wear glasses. And I was thinking, well, that would be perfect. She would be ha having a frame to hide behind. And I would have to change a lot of my story to accommodate for her having glasses. And she doesn't want them, but she feels comfortable wearing them. And I'm, I'm suspecting a part of her story is at some point she was straining her eyes too much and, and decided to, to start wearing glasses and kind of just spiral down from there. And now she can't wear, like, she can't not wear glasses. Also, so something that could be really cool for Nettle is to have her a little bit spiritual and very, maybe a little bit religious. I don't think her sister, which is her only caregiver, would actually be religious, but Nettle, after all she's been through, she naturally is like uh, attracted to spirituality and Christianity maybe, and she's so afraid of all these creatures that she sees and their demons in her eyes and she just feels like she needs some protection so she's wearing this medallion i don't know if i want to use like real life religions in my story i might just make my own up and kind of take it from there and she would naturally fall into that because she wants to remove these demons from her life as you can hear uh, Nettle hasn't had the best few first years of her life. I think when the story of Nettle and the Hush, Hush starts, she will be around 13 years old, maybe 12. So she'll be quite young, but all the years before there, she's kind of have to grow up quite quickly because her sister doesn't take care of her as she should be. And she's just a very anxious and nervous child. I even gave her a fidget bracelet so that she can fidget when she's nervous. And the story behind this lucky cat is actually, <laughs> I was thinking, why would she have a lucky cat? It doesn't make sense because that's meant for luck in profit and business but and money. But Nettle doesn't care about that. But I was thinking maybe her sister went traveling to J Japan and was like, oh, there's a lucky cat. My Nettle is always so clumsy. Maybe I'll give her a lucky cat. And it doesn't mean the same thing. But Nettle loves cats. As you can see, there's lots of cats items in her wardrobe or her selection of things so of course i had to give her a lucky cat for some silly reason another thing that i know i've been mentioning before as nettle a part of nettle's story is to meet cat and that was what the prologue of her comic series was also about was her first meeting cat but i think something i'm gonna change for the actual comic and when i start writing the comic is that nettle doesn't know that cat is a monster <laughs> or a hush hush i think she will think it's a normal cat because cat will have the ability to change into different forms and therefore can change into a, quite a normal looking cat and i think that would work out really well because at some point in the story she would realize oh cat's never been there because her sisters always ignored the cat and never known the cat was there and it's it's gonna be a very fun reveal to put in the comic, I think. And I never thought about this before I started like thinking more about her character and why she would still be scared of Hush Hush if she had cats. Of course, all of these like concepts for her story is still up in the air. I might change it later, but doing this challenge actually made me think more about her character and I didn't actually think I had that much I needed to add onto her because I already knew I was putting a little bit too much of myself into Nettle like I used to be quite shy when I was around 12 uh, which was really a weird thing for me because I was really outgoing before that and I think just having that, just having her shy because she sees monsters is it's kind of boring, there's no plot there, so giving her one glasses, which I've never given the character before, to a reason to be a little bit religious or interested in that part of the world, and yeah, just giving her stuff that I would never personally be interested in um, pursuing in a way, so that will kind of 
pull me towards a different path for her and different character or different story which is really interesting to me which makes me really want to develop the story now and i hope you guys are enjoying it as well because coming up with these things are very exciting uh, of course metal and the hush hush is such a big story uh it's i imagining like three four volumes which will be quite big it's Drawing a comic is no easy task, so I'm not going to do it very soon, unfortunately. I am going to continue drawing Nettle and her friends because I want to continue developing it and I know that you guys on my channel are very interested in Nettle and the Hush Hush. So I think it fits in with my other things and I can kind of weave it into my channel as I'm doing other children's books as well. But we will have a wholesome thing at the end and then I can actually start drawing the comic at some point in the future anyway we are nearing the end of this drawing i hope you guys liked it i really want to see your version of whatever character you have you can even do a character that you've never done before that you just come up with and this will be a way for you to kind of dig deeper into their minds and what they like and everything like that do tag me on twitter or instagram if you do it i would love to see it and thank you very much for watching And that was it. That was my sheet of different details and things that I think Nettle will like. And I did discover some few things that I actually didn't think about giving her before. Uh, so it was really fun. And if you guys want to join me, please do. I really want to see you. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Bye bye. I'm just gonna end this video saying thank you guys so much to my patrons, you're amazing, thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you want a shout out at the end of my video, please go check out my Patreon, I have a lot of cool rewards if you want to support me a little bit more. And uh, of course, just watching and commenting on my video is plenty, thank you guys so much, and yeah, thank you! <laughs>